What up, what up? It's your boy Nexus coming at you live from uh, Ontario. Oh, Ontario, Canada today. Um, this is Winifar and it is Spooktober. Spooktober. It's the, the month of my people, right? Like, here we are, ready to get into some of that good, good spooky shit. Uh, so we're going to play the letter. I don't think I've ever seen anyone play the letter. I don't know. This game is aesthetic AF. So far, anyway. It does look really nice. That's a really uh, nice church. I'm going to get a rib tattoo that's stained glass. Right? Uh-huh. It's going to be sick. It's going to be sick and I'm going to wear crop tops constantly. So everyone has to suffer my super pale belly and see it. Alright, well, let's, uh... I'm gonna jump right in. Oh! oh! Jesus Christ! It was in the menu! <laughs> Next, are you okay? Oh my god. <laughs> are you alright? It says the Ermengarde Mansion. Ugh. Do you want me to, con like, do the clicking? Yeah, you do the clicking. Are Jesus you gonna be Christ. Are you gonna be okay? I'm gonna be fine, but oh my god. I got you. I'm here with you. It's fine. Oh my god. I'm glad I wasn't taking a drink. <laughs> All right. It was built for Lord William and Lady Elizabeth Ermengarde of Luxburn. Oh, I'm all, I'm still nervous. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm gonna be fine. Just Are Jesus you sure? Christ. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Um, humble ambassadors of peace and beloved by their people. I don't. Mm, no. No. <laughs> Uh, both were well known for their compassion and generosity, never failing to extend a helping hand to anyone in need. Under their influence and wealth, what was once a small sleepy village grew to a prosperous and bustling town. I feel like something's gonna jump out at us at like every five seconds. Yeah. Uh, however, the seasons of joy eventually ended when the good nobles perished at the hands of a great plague. The riches and legacy, riches, riches and legacy were henceforth passed on to their only child, Lely Charlotte Ermengarde. Is it, does that just remind you of like Ermengarde? Ermengarde. Ermengarde. Okay. Dot dot dot. No! No! I'm averting my eyes. <laughs> you, can, you can look at me, I'm less spooky, it's fine. Uh, the mansion has stood since the 1620s, a witness to the very long history of joy and pain. After Lady Charlotte committed suicide, oh boy. Oh boy, she's, she's gonna haunt the place. Yeah, she's gonna fuck us up. The great house was eventually left uninhabited. Suicide ghost or worst ghost. After Lady Charlotte, oh, yep, yeah, no, just kidding, click. Oh no, and, <laughs> and that is began. when it began. Surrounding villagers spoke of seeing and hearing unearthly things, of cries and howls that filled the nights and hearsay of a mysterious woman roaming the hallowed halls aimlessly. Oh, I don't like that. Are you, gonna, are you sure you're going to be okay? No, I'm fine. I don't want to sound like that. People who dared enter its walls were simply never heard from again. Rip. Jesus Christ. Even after 400 years, these stories remain much like the house itself. Whispers about the once great house, its legend, and its curse still fall upon villagers' ears. Nexus. He's going to take a real drink real quick. Let's, so don't. Uh, let's have a brief drink break. Yeah. Okay. In spite of this, the current owners are convinced that these stories are nothing more than a hoax. Okay. Sure, buddy. With little regard for the truth, they had Briar Realty Corporation place the property back on sale. Isn't it? It was a little bit weird that they gave it, like, a name name. Like, why didn't they just say that they brought it to realtors to sell? Mm -hmm. I mean, this house looks good. I live in there. Like Pandora's box, the secrets that lie inside await to be discovered by the brave, by brave souls. No matter what happens, take care not to be consumed by the curse. I don't like that it's threatening me right now. Right. Do you feel threatened? I feel threatened. I feel a little bit threatened. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No, no, no. Good luck. Oh, oh no. 
Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we're, so you can't see it, but uh, we were both inching away from the mic. <laughs> oh, there's actual voice acting. Oh shit. Like there's real people here. Okay. Hello, Rose. All right, Isabella, are you there? Where are you? A familiar jittery voice comes from the other end. I don't like that either. Sports day. Oh, hey Rose. Oh, we're cute. We are yeah. cute. I like that we don't have to read this in English. Yeah. Ooh, are we a bitch? Sounds like it. Well, yeah, it's a band of fucking spooky mansion. I'd bail on that too. I know I take my promises seriously. I take my promises seriously too. Same though. My word is my bond. Oh, this isn't the first time we've been there? No roads. Me too. A haunted mansion? Dude, I would live in a haunted mansion. You don't even like Ouija boards. I don't. It's true, but I'd live in a haunted mansion. I don't like Ouija boards because I'm scared of demons or something. As opposed to the demons not haunting a haunted mansion? Those are ghosts. Ghosts and spirits and demons are different things. What can I guess? I'm not trying to get possessed out here. I am. You can possess me, baby. <laughs> I mean, spirits really can't do much. I mean, they can throw shit at you. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's not much. But they can fucking hurl shit at you. I mean, yeah, you're probably right. Let's see here. All right. <clears throat> what? Oh no! Nah, -uh. no, fuck that. I don't know how I feel about that. I I can tell you how I feel about that, and it's not fucking comfortable. Sorry if you hear me chewing pistachios, ladies and gentlemen. Your pistachios are fucking awesome. If you don't like pistachios, we don't want to be friends with you. I don't know. True. I'm going to speak for all. I mean, there you go. Nexus also said that it's true, so neither one of us wants to be friends with you if you don't eat pistachios, man. They're some good shit. Though we might be friends with you if you're allergic to nuts and can't eat pistachios. True. We're not, we're not you know. We're not assholes. Yeah. We are very scared, though. Yeah, we're, we're both kind of like high-key, like, no. I love how I'm driving now. I mean, whatever. Do you want to drive? No. Are you good? <laughs> are you sure? Yeah, I got to keep my hands in the go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, she hangs up before I can respond. Rose, still as charming as ever. Do go, Rose. Why does everyone have an accent but us? Oh, look at this cutie. Next says, look at how cute she is. Aw, she's probably going to kill us. <laughs> you can it's tell so. She can kill me any day. <laughs> oh my god, like, she actually moves. Oh my god! I don't like it. Why is that unsettling? Nexus, I don't like it. Well, this is the first visual novel that we've played together, and, um... Don't they normally not move like that? They don't, no. Just for this property, we've been scoping out that big mansion down Anson Village after the renovations. Today is sort of its grand opening to the public. The RC wants to give it one last check before we let potential buyers tour it this afternoon. Great mansion? That big spooky one you've been telling everyone about? Mm -hmm. Stop moving your lips. Didn't you keep saying how it just Her hair swishes, too. Like when she moves her head. You actually went there? 
and you're going well. I did Oops. promise Rose I wouldn't ditch her. And besides, a job is a job. Gotta do what you gotta do to make a living. <laughs> uh uh. What's so Birds. funny? No! No, Nexus, no shh. Uh, what? Why did that just? She shook her head and it moved. I told you. I don't know why that freaks me out like so it. bad. I don't like. I don't like it. I mean, no offense. See, I told you. Stop. I like how we're getting spooked over the fucking dumb shit. <laughs> this is the dumb shit. Like the actual spooky shit isn't gonna freak us out, but like this is too much for us. Thanks. I think I'm getting freaked out just because I know. It's gonna be scary. I don't like that the end of the menu had the jump scare. That was not my favorite. Time. I could really use a huge amount of cash right now, and this is just the fastest way to get Can't it. Can't we? Couldn't we all? What do we do if we got just a huge chunk of cash? I'd get a new place. I'd get another dog. What about a new place and another dog? Shit, you right. Yeah, we would just get like a like a farm and get dogs. I don't like that the light is moving in the background, and I don't like the fucking birds flying by. How about that? We never give bonuses like that. No, I just focus on sports day. I can't, cause I'm talking to her, and I gotta look at her eyes or some shit. I'm desperate. I'm desperate. It's perfect. They're desperate. I'm desperate. It's perfect. Oh. So they are, they're so good. And since I'm sharing this with you, I don't gotta saddle all the carbs. That was really good. Hmm. Uh, Spanish red skin peanuts. Oh, those are super good. I fucking love those. Oh, I love those. Ashton. Or Ashton. Is Ashton hot? Who the fuck is Ashton? Oh, they're trying to lend us money. I don't want to borrow money from you. You freak me out a little bit. Becca. Fuck borrowing money from anyone. Hmm? Oh, I've noticed that you've been living off instant noodles these past few weeks. So? Don't fucking judge yeah, me. Yeah, fuck off. That's the hardest thing about keto is that I don't get to eat instant noodles. So my food's expensive. Yeah, we gonna make some bomb ass salads. Hmm? Did you make some bomb ass salads? Dude, my salad in there that I have for today is like spinach and bacon and parmesan. It sounds amazing. It's fucking good. I'll let you try it and if you like it, I'll make you one too. Okay. I gotta go get some more bacon now. I don't wanna be scolded by this thotty. Look at how she's looking at us. Oh, fuck off. Lady. Oh, she's a teacher? Is she our teacher? Yeah, she said she teaches boisterous teenagers. Oh, you know what? We're probably not in high school. We're, we're probably friends with this teacher. Makes sense. Oh, oh. It's a decision. Are we making decisions together or is one of us making all the choices? Together. Together. Alright, so we eat other things too or she's not our fucking mom. I know which one of these I would pick. I don't like being told how to live my life. You're not my mom. You're not my, you're not my real mom. Let's do it. Really? Team in relationship status. I press my lips together. Stop blinking! Isn't it freaky? I don't like it. It freaks me out. I'm not entirely sure how I should feel whenever she goes on her mother hen mode. Fucking fight me. She's really not my mom. My mom's thick with two C's. She's more overbearing than mama and that already says a lot. I don't <laughs> you. You're not my mom. Yeah, tell her. I didn't say I am. Oh, fuck. Next to this. Ah, I got it. Yay. Rating with Sasha's. Yeah. Like you don't need to boss oh, me around all the bitch. time. 
Here, let me do it. Yeah. So you stick the... Fun fact, I'm going to teach you guys really quick. I'm not going to show you, but like, if you've got a pistachio that's not cracked enough, you can stick the edge of another shell in it. Let me find a flatter one. I already tried that. And you turn it. There you go. My hero. You betcha. Not only do I bring the pistachios, but I also help you get into them. Oh no. Not polite. Oh, good. There's one that's already shelled. There you go. All right. She gave me a completely unimpressed look. Immediately, I braced myself for another round of reprimands from her. Look, I don't need this bitch scolding me. Is the thing. I'm not bossing you around. I'm just telling you to at least mind what you're eating. Are we in another country? Is that why everybody has an accent but us? Maybe. Thank you. Remember what happened last year? What, did we gain 35 pounds? You Sounds like the story of my life. You were two weeks after eating something bad, and I ended up having to listen to you cry about how those absences would take a huge chunk out of the Well, wow, no, she's like a bitch, though. She's a cunt. I don't like you, Becca. Do I don't want to be friends with you again. anymore. No, yeah. Mom. Oof. Whatever. I mean, I, print, I pinch the bridge of my nose all the time. It's one of these. Yeah. I don't like her. I already don't like her a lot. Oh, I'm serious. I don't care. And also, who lets a teacher have pink hair like this? Like, I'm yeah. all for, I'm all for, you know, people being able to dress and have their hair however they want. But, like, I've never seen a school let a teacher have pink hair. Not my mom, Rebecca. Ooh. Ooh, she pulled out your full name, though. She said Rebecca. Maria oh, boy. Grace. Oh. Oh shit! She said she was not our mother. She just she just middle named us. I don't appreciate that. Hey, I don't I don't like it. <laughs> mm mm. Yeah, I'll stop. Okay, whatever. Uh, Why aren't we as pissed as I am? Why do I keep getting freaked out over the movements? Yeah. Just don't look at her. I look at Sports Day. Yeah, look at Sports Day. Look, if you need anything, tell me and I'll help in any way I can. You don't have to do this alone. I don't know if I just don't like it that they talk and their mouths move. Is that weird? No. Thanks, Becca. I really appreciate it. Why does our mouth not move? I might have one goldfish. Shh. Do not tell anybody, viewer. And I'm not going to ask you to do what you earn hard for yourself. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, you did your pride. Huh? Suit yourself. I'll go get my almonds here in a minute. The stays mm -hmm. on the I said I'll go get my almonds here in a minute. Ever. It has nothing to do with pride. I've simply seen plenty of times how friendships can take a turn for the worse because of a few unpaid debts. I don't want something like that to happen between me and Becca. We may argue about a lot of small, petty things, but she already feels like a real sister to me. Well, she's a bossy cow like an older sister, so... I mean, as as an eldest sister, I know that I'm a bossy cow. Oh. I know it. Mostly only to my siblings, though. And people that worked under me. Sorry, guys. 
Becca's movements when she talks, or when she takes a quick glance at something behind me, snaps me out of my thoughts. Well, enough chit chat. Ah, uh, stop. Ending, and my students will be back. I don't like it when they move. It's okay. It'll be okay. That jokes. That jokes. That jokes. That jokes. We can catch up later. Can I have a cracker? <laughs> Good luck with your clients. You better treat us to lunch or something if you get that sale. No. You bet. Absolutely you bet. not. I say that all the time too. What? You bet. Mm. Somebody be like, thank you, and I'm like, you bet. <laughs> with a small smile, she returns to her desk and begins sifting through the pages of a rather thick history book. She's probably working on next week's lesson plan. Or trying to, at least. And she looks like me after somebody said something that I didn't like. Her eyes are distant. She doesn't seem too attentive to whatever is on the page. She needs Zoloft. Uh-uh. <coughs> Don't you do that. As if she heard my thoughts, Becca starts coughing heavily. Her hand hastily goes to her mouth to stifle the sounds. Dude, if blood starts running out of her mouth, I'm going to be upset. Ah, uh, this is precisely why I followed her here. For someone who makes a habit of worrying about other people, Becca sure forgets how to take care of herself. Hey, you sure you can manage on your own? We're Isabella. Mm-hmm. We are, we are Isabella. Oh, oh, shit. Why did it... I, I right-clicked, I think. Oh. Uh, there we go. Okay, I was just like, why is it during this? I'm like, no. You're still a bit feverish. Why are you in a school with a fever? You are what's wrong with the world. Yeah, what the fuck is wrong with you? Jesus Christ. Don't you, Don't you call me. Is deer a trigger word for you? No, no, I like deer. I just don't want her to call me deer. Is it because she's spooky? No, it's because she's momming me and I don't appreciate it. Uh -huh. I'll just drink some medicine and I'll be right <laughs> What? <laughs> No, I don't mind being called deer at all. Especially by people I like. Okay, uh, I level her with a flat look. She has had a cold for a couple of days now. Something about the strange weather not agreeing with her lately. Strange weather? Despite my advice to take a week off and rest, I found her apartment empty when I dropped by this morning. Uh-oh. She even left her medicine that the doctor prescribed. Look who's being stubborn now. You shouldn't even be working right now. Dude, you're fucking right. <laughs> Seriously, you big baby. Out no, you're not all right. But now, just go to work and stop making that rose go. Look, if you are just spreading disease in a school, I'm really mad at you. I was already mad, but, like, I really don't like Becca. This is me, Winifar, with giant beef with Becca from the letter. Becca from the letter? Yeah. Oh, Becca. Becca, yeah. This is Becca. This lady right here. Heck. Fuck her. She offers me a reassuring smile and I can only sigh. Why do I even bother? There's no stopping her once she's decided on something. I don't like how she's looking at us and I really... I don't know why it's so unsettling that she's moving around. Hey, look. Meds. Defeated, I reach inside my bag and pull out the same bottle of medicine she left earlier. She looks at it warily when I place it in front of her. Oh, does what? her cough medicine make her psych meds act up? Are we going to get spooked? Unfortunately for her, this is one thing that I'm not letting her have her way on. I think we're going to get spooked pretty soon. Don't I'm concerned that we're going to get Drink spooked. Drink this on time. I'll see you later, okay? No, don't leave us! No, we're, we're Bella, so we're leaving her. Oh, okay. There's an amused gleam in her eyes when she shifts them back to me. Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. No, it's not you, it's the Look. game. Rebecca! Rebecca! Okay, okay. I won't tease anymore. I'm just saying, if she teaches high school, like, what do you think her life is like? Shitty. Yeah, like, can you imagine teenage boys when their teacher looks like this? When I was a teenage boy. I wasn't. <laughs> no! <gasps> Surely you jest. Surely I jest. I'll make sure to drink it, Mom. Oh, my. You drink my fucking alcohol. Shh, 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 shh. Oh, okay. 
Uh, before I can retort, she casts another look at the clock. I take that as a sign to finally end the conversation and my short visit. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. With a small wave, I leave her alone to the classroom and her thoughts. Yeah, it's beast. Me, fucking get the fuck out of there. I hail a passing taxi to take me to the property as soon as I leave the school grounds. Sleepy Sheep Inn. Library. Antique store. Mrs. Flowers. Bar. Oh, bar. It's called The Crawl. Zarbucks. Zarbucks. <laughs> uh. Okay, the mansion is some ways out in the countryside, but I don't have trouble getting, giving the driver directions. Oh boy. Birds. Yeah, I hate that. I'm trying not to see them. Apparently everyone in Luxburn City knows of it, including every bit of rumor surrounding the place. Oh, Luxburn was the name of the village. What village? The village that built up around the mansion. Ah. In fact, just the mention of its name is enough for locals to give you a cautious sidelong glances. I learned it the hard way the first time I commuted there, and it only boosted my belief that there's something more to the house. Even the news of it being renovated pl and placed back up on the market has caused quite a stir. Oh, I don't like this music. No. Thankfully, it died down a few weeks later. The place would have become a lot harder to sell otherwise. I avert my eyes from the window once the buildings shrink out of the distance. We get a glimpse of the countryside soon, and although a quick glance at my watch tells me that we're still a few minutes away from our destination. Me, me. Might as well get some work done. Oh boy. Do you need to go and pop off? Yeah, I yeah, do. Okay. Rose did ask me to review the mansion's documents. Me. I already looked them over last night, but you never know when things may go wrong. Life has ways of messing things up like that. Halfway through reading the papers, my phone rings again. I thought that was my phone for a second, but it's... I pick it up without looking, neatly tucking it between my ear and shoulder. It's probably just Rose again anyway. Rose? Rose? Oh! Ash. Oh, she's cute. Yes, again. It's a boy. Fuck. I mean, he's cute. I mean, yeah, he can get them, he can get it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Bingo. Hey, what's up? Just checking if you're still cool later this evening. Ooh, we got plans with Ash this evening. You mean that thing, with Zach? And Zach, Ash and Zach. Yeah, he called in the middle of the night just to remind me. No, don't worry, I didn't forget. I'll be there. open house and we're expecting quite a number of potential buyers. I'll be booked the whole afternoon. You know, the big Jacobian mansion at Anson Village. Jacobian. I'm way there right now, actually. On your own? Yeah. Well, Rose is already there, but yeah. I see. Looks like the scaredy cat finally toughened up. Oh boy. Shut up. Ash chuckles and I can't help but roll my eyes upon hearing it. I'll see you later. Uh, it says Ash Hole. I'll see if I can pick you up. Oh boy. Whatever. Bye. It changed his name to Ash Hole. Ash while he was talking, yeah. That's hilarious. It is hilarious. Stupid Ash Hole. Always teasing me whenever he sees a chance. I'll show him who's tough. Hashtag not actually me, friends. Not actually me. It takes a few more minutes until I finally reach the infamous mansion. I have to admit, the entire property does look wonderful from the outside. Yet, despite all of this, it does nothing to hide that something is just wrong. Nexus, I'm afraid something's gonna jump out and scare the shit out of me. Huh? Okay. We're gonna wait for Nexus really quick.
Alright. So, something, something is just wrong. Okay, hold on. Okay, are you ready? Uh, yep. Alright. The surrounding area is unusually silent and the only rustling, and only the rustling of leaves can be, sorry, can be heard as the occasional breeze passes. We're a team, we're gonna get through yep. this. Okay. Okay. While Anselm Village is just a few miles away, everyone keeps their distance on purpose. Oh boy. Perhaps out of fear, the horror of falling under the mansion's curse. Uh, 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 somehow it makes uh, me feel sad. Uh, <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, God, okay. We're going to be fine. Yeah, the lack, yeah, the lack of immediate good. human presence just makes the place all the more eerie than it oh has any boy. right to be. Oh boy. If it's uncanny in broad daylight, I can't imagine how this place looks at night. Oh lord. Yep. Yeah, yep. we are. Yep. The voice nearly makes me jump out of my skin. Without completely taking my eyes away from the house, I give the driver a confused nod. A beat passes while I wait for him to say more, but his only answer is a non-committal. Hmm. 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 That's me. Ooh. Belatedly, it occurs to me that he must have been waiting for my payment. I mentally slap myself for spacing out and promptly hand right him... Time. Huh? We're out of time. Let's get to this. Okay. Um, slap myself for spacing out and promptly hand him the fare with an apologetic look. I expected him to leave as soon as I got paid, or as soon as I paid, but there's a hesitant expression on him as if something hasn't been said yet. We're, 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 we're back on our, uh, we're in debt. Hmm? We're in debt. Yeah. Isabella. Oh, yeah. Isabella. I'm looking to see. I'm sure you've heard what the people are telling everyone about that place. Nobody likes to be disturbed and they're at peace. And I'm pretty sure whatever they say is in the house. Don't want to either. Oh no. I admit they did a good job fixing it up, but there must have been a reason. Kind of fucking spooked out. I know, why are we so scared? Because, I don't know, that, that fucking intro. That intro, yeah, no. It, it was freaked me the fuck out. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be fine. It's bad job, boo. Bad jobs. Okay. Get ready for this. No, it's haunted. Yeah, it's fucking... Buddy, this is a fucking haunted mansion. He drove off. We're alone. We're not alone. Rose is here. Rose? The bitch? No, that was Becca. Ah. I mean, Rose might be a bitch, too. We don't know yet. Heavy sigh. Oh, boy. After hearing enough of the rumors, I should have expected the conversation to take that turn. But I'm already here, backing out is completely out of the question. What if we walk in there and Rose is dead? Uh, I don't know. It's not like I have a choice anyway. She's gonna be fucking dead in there. God damn it. Yep. If I want to get that bonus and commission one way or another, I've got to sell this property. <clears throat> the door is a jar. The door is a jar. No. We gotta stop. I don't know. Once we get inside. Okay. Yeah. We gotta get through this part. Oh, we're gonna get inside, people. The door is ajar when I get to it. However, while my own copy of the keys dangle useless, or to it. However, while my own copy of the keys dangle uselessly in my hand, Rose must have left it open when she arrived. Hmm, that's weird. weird. We may be the only people here this early, but I've never known her as someone careless. She's gonna be dead in there. Oh God. I mean, it's cool. It's cool. It's okay. Ooh, it's, I know ooh. it's. I know it's creepy. Ooh. I don't like that the chandelier is moving either. It's freaking me out. Um, I wouldn't advise keeping an eye on a painting. Cause I feel like they're gonna move or some shit. Entering what greets me inside leaves me gaping. They've cleaned every corner, waxed the floor, dusted the antiques, searched every nook, cranny, and crevice, and made it spick and span. I don't care how clean it is. All the for sale. Or, I'm sorry, all for the sake of making the mansion more enticing to the modern-day lords and ladies. 
but no matter how hard they try, the mansion still still looks as soulless as ever. Dislike. Uh, as though it's going to eat you alive. If you ask me, they should have just listened to what other people have been telling them and leave this place alone. Some things in this world are better left alone, never to be disturbed ever again. Rose? No. She's calling out for Rose. Rose, I'm here. Where are you? No. Oh, who am I kidding? In a place this big, I don't think she'll hear me no matter how deafening the silence is. She could be all the way on the other side of the property for all I know. Uh, okay, quickly I reach for my phone and dial her number. Please answer the phone, but... No! I... No! No. Why is her number disconnected? We're good. Nexus, why? We're gonna die! God, what do you mean has not been recognized? No! No, 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 we no. We were just no. talking a while ago. It's not like she was eaten by the house, right? Okay, I think we should stop here. Okay. Okay, we'll so. Stop here. Yeah, we're gonna stop here. So we're gonna save. Oop. Okay, so yeah, this is a good stopping point. It's kind of like a little bit of a cliffhanger. My concern is oh my god, why though? <laughs> Alright, so do we just. Yep. <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, that was our first uh, our first video for Spooktober, playing the letter. Um, have a great week. We'll see you tomorrow. Or let's see, Thursday. Well, it'll be tomorrow. So we'll update this and post it Wednesday. Yes. We'll see you tomorrow, and we're gonna play some Chantelise again. Yep. Um, a little bit of adventure for you guys. Um, this is uh, Winifar and my good, good friend. Nexus. Nexus. And uh, we'll catch you guys later. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye.